for this I was born. Good. In this adrenaline pumping episode, I let loose Loki with my brother, whom Loki has only seen twice. The first time Loki met my brother, he was aggressive from the moment he heard him step inside and got even more so when he saw him. For this I came into the world. Good. That bitch is relentless. Good shit. Sometimes she likes to dominate her sister and helps the other dogs dominate sister. And then sometimes she doesn't want the other dogs dominating sister. And so right now, she might be dominating her because she doesn't want sister to come up to me for affection. She's potentially resource guarding me. But look, 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 look how she's sticking up for Roxy. Sister wants to antagonize Roxy. But now I don't give a fuck. Now I'm gonna look, look, just don't give a fuck. Merciless. Oh, good. Pretty baby. Now we're gonna test mercy today, yes? Like it says in scripture. Have faith and mercy with me every day of my life because thou are with me and guess who is with me her but loki's with me also and on top of loki being with me a brother and guess what we're gonna cut loki loose and he doesn't even know i'm about to do that but i told him about to do dangerous shit today potentially i just cut loki loose with these bitches and it went amazing see good good, good. yeah i know you, you gotta stop trying to be mean to him. He's nice. Very tolerant of you bitches. Very tolerant. Hi, baby. I know, baby girl. You just got in trouble, huh? Fucking with him. You can play with him, but you don't need to try to gang up on him. He loves to play with the big dogs. Hey, pretty girl. Wait till you see the shit we do with my brother and him today. Amazing. <laughs> Roxy, shut up. We've been sleeping hard. So we've been able to play with the dogs already for two, three days. The new YouTube video is up, was shot a few days ago. So it was around then. And I'm so very happy because he's been snoring so damn hard at night. I mean, he's been sleeping fucking hard. He loves coming out here to play. But I still gotta let him out here by myself because otherwise he won't get party. Power. So now we're going to let them out. He hasn't been out with Roxy who's in heat, but he has lost those beautiful testicles. But just to be safe, and I will say that Loki has been very tolerant of my brother. When I went to Mithisepe, my brother is the one that took care of Loki, wasn't able to interact with him, but was able to clean him as I've done before. So first and foremost, I have the power! This is my shield of power. I'm going to trust you with my shield of power. Now, you see how I'm holding it here? This is going to be your only line of defense if that motherfucker decides to fuck you up. The good thing is that he just came out and played. And he's tired. Fuck, we're tired. I just tired. Okay? He's been, oh! Damn, did you see that body slam? Did you see that fucking body slam? And if I had to guess, his sister would get the shit out of her on the side. Doesn't look like there's any puncture wounds. But they fucking love playing with one another. So what I want you to do, please, is I want you to stand right here, facing with that shield of power in front of you. And I'm going to have a chain in my hand just in case he decides to pop off. You have the power of veto. You want to do it? You down? Hell yeah, we're down. Runs in our blood. Right? Not everybody can handle these Italian masters, but it runs in our blood. Power. Good. Oh, these bitches can't wait for you. Enough of that. She's good, Loki. You're doing good. It's Nala. Nala's a dominant bitch. Good, Papa. He doesn't seem to care about you at all. It's goofy. But then I think those bitches are dominant. The bitches are dominant. I don't think Asim would tolerate that. I think Asim would start checking bitches, huh? They're not really being mean to him. They're just antagonizing. That's what you get. 
take a look. If it becomes too much, hi. So he's very sensitive about hitting the chains for some reason. It almost looks vicious. It almost looks like they're trying to fight him, but they're not. And Roxy's trying to defend him. Smart, Roxy. Alright. So now watch what's going to happen. I'm about to make contact. I'm about to make contact. That's what I thought. Good. I'm not fucking around. That's what I thought, bitch. Handsome. I love you, baby, but god damn it. For real, that was too much, huh? She's being mean to him. Good, look. He doesn't seem to be too worried about you, yeah? Will you approach him with your shield of power? Dude, he legit seems like he wants to be okay with you. Hi, yeah. Love? Love, Loki? Loki, love? Look. Weird to tell him. It looks like he wants to be goofy with you. But it's hard to tell. He's <laughs> hard to read. Look at that. He don't have no hard feelings. No hard feelings with her. Now, you see, I didn't want to escalate it there, but they were being too much. They were overwhelming my boy. Okay, if you're comfortable with it, set the shield of, shield of power aside. And let's see what happens. Good. If he does snatch at you or snap at you, please don't do anything. Let me handle it, yes? I will tackle his ass. Look, he wants to he wants to interact with you though. He's following you, okay? Don't flip out. He's happy about you. Pick the ball up and let's see what he does. He's wagging his tail about you. Look, look, look. He wants to play with you. What a good sign. Awesome. He's goofy. Awesome! Power! Good! Good job! Now don't reach out and pet him though. Fuck that, okay? Awesome! How does that feel? So let's fuck him with a great white shark, huh? Because this motherfucker could be mean. Remember when you first came over, he growled at you as soon as he heard you were inside? He seems to like you though. I really feel like he's been showing great signs of change. He's been very tolerant. Like when the lawnmower people come out, he seems to be pretty tolerant. Happy. Handsome. Oh, we got that bed. I gotta take that bed out and give him that bed. Good, good, good. It's a lot of meat, huh? Oh shit, be careful. It's a lot of meat. Welcome to the meat show. <laughs> you let them know. Let them know, Bubba. Play by one another, but when I feel like it's starting to be too dominant, I have to stop. So, see, he's starting to have calluses there, though they haven't been there before. I don't remember. I don't know. Give him a bed. And they're going to lay on shit. I really like these canine ballistic beds. Somebody was out here watching their thing, like maybe some minute they were fighting dogs. I think make some rusty. That's enough of that barking. He had a good time to look. Awesome, huh? Will you pick that ball up one more time, please? And let's see Loki. Loki. Good, good, good. Loki, look. Good. Oh! He fucking bum rushed his ass. Good, Loki. Handsome, Papa. Look at that, man. He's all up in your business. He's like a seaman away, huh? <laughs> nice. Handsome! I think toys are gonna be a good, a big factor in getting him to calm down around people, perhaps. Awesome, huh? Power. Thank you all so much for watching, especially since you stuck around until the very end. 
If you haven't already, please do subscribe and pull that bell so you'll be notified when we upload the next video. You don't want to miss the shit that we have happening and perhaps you want your dog to be a part of the shit that's about to happen. If you can comfortably afford it, we have limited availability on larger learn programs, by all means do reach out. There's no place better. I also offer phone, virtual consultations, local classes if you're in the Houston area. I love to have people come down from San Antonio and Austin just for a class. Well worth the pilgrimage, may I tell you? My name is Erwin Valderamos. I'm the dog messiah. I'm the lover of dogs and persons. And make no mistake. For this I was born. Go tell them. For this I came into the you world. You think that right, Hexic? Pow. So be ye angry and sin not. Don't let the sun go down upon your wrath. Instead, you must be still, commune with your own heart upon your bed, and be silent. And as with all things, when you do it, you must be intense in the doing it. If you are lukewarm, you're told in scripture, I will spew you out. Be it that ye are either hot or cold, but because thou art lukewarm, I will spew you out. You can't accomplish shit in this world if you're tepid and timid. You must be intense about everything that you want. Set yourself on fire and the world will follow. You are called to dominate the earth. Bless you all. Could be good. How beautiful, man. That shit makes me so happy. I just worry that they're gonna fucking run into a tree and hurt the hell out of themselves. They could happen. They could, just like a human being. It's, it's not very likely. He likes her. And see, these things there, I use those for training purposes. They work out really well. It's a lot of meat, huh? Ooh, look. Look at the crab the shit out of him, boy. Oh, I'm tired. It's good for them, huh? All right, let's see what happens. Good, 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 good. Good inside. Awesome, huh? Good, 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 good. All right.